Oh, hey guys, uh, it is me, Nicole. I'm back on this Saturday afternoon. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. So I have a few minutes to burn uh, before I have my doctor's appointment at 1230. So there were a few stories I wanted to touch on. And the very first story I wanted to talk about is this black man out of Virginia. His name uh, was or is not was, is, he's still alive. Robert Coleman, 27 years old. All right. If you haven't heard, this brother was sentenced to 10 years in jail because he punched out uh, a racist that called him the N-word. He literally uh, knocked the life out of her, okay, with one punch. All right. And she was Latino. And her name was, I think it's Montiel Benitz, something like that, 39 years old. Okay, so according to Coleman, he was in the 7-Eleven, she was as well, and Coleman was with his girlfriend. This was all caught on surveillance video, and words were exchanged between the two, and according to Coleman, she called him a nigger, all right? So, um, his defense attorney wanted to only give him, only wanted him to be charged with manslaughter, but of course, the prosecution they stuck it to second degree murder. All right. So he was convicted and sentenced to 10 years in jail. They said that the word should not um, drive someone to, you know, kill. And, and, and you know what? Yeah, that may be true and all. But at the same time, um, in this system, we've heard that word. We know where that word comes from. We know the root of it. We know that a lot of our people are not going to take it anymore. We are living under the regime of Donald Dump. Yes, Donald Dump, D-U-M-P, Dump, because that's what he is. He's trash. He's garbage. But we know that many of our people are sick and tired. I am not shocked that this happened. As a matter of fact, I'm not shocked it doesn't happen more. I've seen some videos where they're in like restaurants or uh, fast food places and someone calls somebody that and yeah it, it get there a brawl gets going folks are not completely out as that's why you don't go around loosely saying that word because you don't know what may happen all right let this be a lesson to those of you out there who think you can sit up there say that word and there will be no repercussions no you may walk away with a concussion. You may walk away um, out of your mind or you may die. You may be completely knocked out forever. Her lights are gone. And that needs to be, that is such, that is, has to be such a reminder to those of you out there who think you can just talk to folks any old kind of way. And hey, you think nothing won't happen. Even if she had an altercation with him, she didn't have to say that word. She could have called him a jerk, a jackass, and I'm sure he probably would have just cussed her out and she would have went her, you know, along and did her thing and he probably would have just cussed her out and called her a bee or whatever and it would have been that. But that word, it is it is so evil. And some will say, oh, how can you sit up here now and police the word when you guys use it amongst yourselves? Now, now listen... I myself personally, I don't like to use the word like that unless I'm talking about a story like this or I'm trying to prove a point. All right. But non-black folks, I'm telling you, just don't say it. All right. Because you don't know who is listening. You don't know how that person is going to take it. So yeah, it is what it is. And in the words of our brother, Tori and Rain, I feel nothing. I'm sure a majority of you don't feel anything as well. Let this be a lesson. All right. Secondly, I wanted to speak about that woman that went to the YouTube headquarters. I meant to talk about it in my last video because I'm like now a week late. But I basically wanted to say about that, I'm not shocked at all. And I wonder, do YouTube and Google, you know as a whole, I wonder, do they get threats like that all the time? Because many folks feel that they're being suppressed. They can't just talk about what they feel is affecting them. And I saw her videos. They look super corny. I mean, honestly, why were they messing with her channel? I mean, 
granted, there are, there are folks who like all sorts of stuff. There are folks, she had a little following. So she wasn't on there doing anything, you know, in my opinion, that's crazy. But you have these other big YouTubers out here who are white, who can go out there, you know, videotape folks hanging from trees and all that kind of stuff. But that's okay. You get a little slap on the wrist and it's all good. Ain't that right? You, you guys know what we're talking about. But that just goes to show you that is white privilege. Okay. Her channel, you know, got demonetized and she wasn't making much money and she got mad about it. And a lot of us have talked about this. You know, unfortunately, I joined YouTube a year ago. So I missed out on before I guess Google took over and it was all good and folks were making money and you know I'll get lucky I may get a video that goes viral and I could make some money off of it but like day-to-day -day videos I do no I mean it's pointless I don't even turn on my monetization thingy unless I see the video is picking up steam and it's getting major views if a video gets barely a thousand views or anywhere between a thousand and five thousand i don't even bother because it's pointless you're not going to make anything so um you know that's why some of us turn to patreon or we you know give out our paypal information if you're trying to you know make money all right and for me personally i still work well, i'm not working right now at the moment because i'm going to move back home find another job but personally i still work you know because i know i i i don't I don't have really the time to do this like that just full time. If I did, I would, but I'm not shocked at all. Not at all. Who, who didn't see that coming? All right. Cause people have been complaining about this for the longest. So does it make it necessarily right? No, but I'm not shocked. A lot of us are not shocked. So, Hey, they need to get it together. They need to, uh, they, they need to do a lot of stuff. They need to change a lot of stuff. And, and, or YouTube is going to go just like MySpace went away. It, it's, it's trending that way. All they need is we just need the perfect other video site. But of course, we've been using Black Junction TV. So for the moment, it's like whatever. But I'm talking about if another major video sharing company comes along, YouTube can kiss it goodbye because folks are pretty much over it, you know? But anyway... And the last story I wanted to touch on, I saw Harvey did a video on it and I meant to talk about it in my last video. So have you guys saw the young, brilliant brother by the name of Michael Brown? And what, what are the odds that this brother, his name is Michael Brown, young uh, black boy, got into 20, got accepted into 20 universities. All right. Amazing. Um, and some of them were Ivy League. So our brilliant, beautiful black children just excelling. And of course, you have the just dogs, the demons, these races out here who I knew this was going to eventually start happening. I knew it because when we see our children and, you know, when they get accepted into all these colleges and whatnot and they film it, they're excited. They're so happy. And then most of the time it's been pretty cool with these newscasters. But we knew, we knew this was coming. A local Fox News affiliate, I believe out of D.C., you guys have seen the video. It's two white women and a black woman. They're all sitting there and these two white women are sitting up there talking about that this kid was obnoxious. How dare he apply to so many universities and schools as if high schoolers don't do that. They do that to see if they can get into one. They, they're maximizing the chance of getting accepted into a college or, or university of their choice. See, they don't even like the fact that we can do that. They want to go back to a time where we're in the dark ages. You, you know, you don't deserve to read. Th that's what they want us to go back to. They want us to go back to that time. Nothing is more threatening. Nothing is more dangerous than an intelligent, smart black man. Okay. Who has his head on straight. He's not cooning. He's not buffooning. Now you will have those who are educated, who are smart, and who would try to coon. But nothing is more just deadlier to them than a smart black man who knows 
his people, loves his people inside and out and doesn't coon. That is the biggest threat to them. All right. And this boy deserved nothing but praise and support. And you have them up there just literally trying to denigrate him. They're on code, but they're still, without saying he's black, I saw a comment, what does this have to do? They didn't mention his color or his race, you idiot. You know exactly what they're doing. They're staying on code. They don't want to break the code, but at the same time, they're throwing this young brother under the bus because they don't like the fact that we can excel and we can be on the same playing field as theirs. Okay, we're not supposed to do this. We're not supposed to be great. We're supposed to suck. We're supposed to be begging and pleading and, you know, just watching them be successful. They they don't like it. But you know what? Screw you. And to that black woman who sat up there, that other uh, journalist, whatever you want to call yourself, you should be ashamed of yourself to sit up there and allow those two devils to say what they were saying about him. Shame on you, shame on you. Is that check that important? That that would have been the day that you would have fired me. Because I would have went so off script, so off code, it would have made their head spin. Really? That young man, I'm sure, worked hard, worked so hard to get where he was at. And to continue... I heard, I believe he wants to eventually go to law school. See, see, they don't want to hear that kind of stuff. They want us to be filling up the prisons, not helping to defend ours or prosecute or whatever. So, yeah, I'm, I was in shock when I saw that. I had been seeing these videos so much lately. I knew eventually one of them was going to cross the line and, and show what they truly feel, okay? And that's good. That's good because we need to see. I, I want to see all those who despise me, who don't want to see us succeed. I want to know who they are. We need to know. You know, they're feeling very, very um, free with their demon in office. So we need to know. We need to get, we need to know because they've been they've been undercover for so long and now they're free as a bird to truly say and and do whatever they they want to do. So we need to be alarmed. We need to be wakened up. We need to see this. Bam, right in our face. We need to see it. And and that's what it is. So, man, guys, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And on a final note, on my last video I did, you know, the various topics and whatnot, I want, not all of you, but some of you, when I was talking about the Stephon Clark shooting, let me reiterate once again, because folks think that, you know, some folks think that it doesn't matter. Um, he didn't deserve to be shot like that. What he said, it's just silliness. We have to focus on police brutality. And yes, that is what I will continue to do. But I will not co-sign anyone, whether it's a black man or a black woman, because I don't do the black man, black woman thing. Okay. Not on this channel. I'm not doing it because we're one and the same. We're on the same team. So no, but I will not co-sign a black man who hated himself. Not going to do it. And I saw um, Phil, shout out to Phil, Phil from the advice show. I saw that he uploaded last night a video um, where the grandmother and uh, Benjamin Crump were on the phone and she was, they were asking him about it. And she was like, he loved everyone. He didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't hate nobody, blah, blah, blah. And see, that's the problem right there. That's how I know he loved everyone but himself. Okay. He didn't love himself. He hated himself. He hated his color. He had self hate issues. He had his racist Asian girlfriend spewing the same white supremacist, uh, talking points so no yes it was absolutely horrendous horrible how he was taken out but at the same time look who took him out it wasn't a black woman it wasn't um i'm not sure if it was a, someone said there was a black cop there too so i i don't know who was shooting as well i have to check that out but either way 
It's still all under this system, all right? Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, he knew full well what he was saying with those tweets. Now he has to rely on other people to get out there and fight for his cause. Because you remember, he said it was either dark bitches or black bitches only bring dark days. You guys saw the tweets. Okay, so it wasn't a black woman who took him out though. Now was it? So it's, it's just tragic. Nobody wins in this. Nobody wins. Uh, but at the same time, no, I don't co-sign what they did. And yes, I will still continue to vouch for our people. But we got to know who they truly were and what team they were on. And if you were not on trying to take down, trying to expose trying to fight for your people, fight for their liberation mentally, because we have a lot of folks who are not mentally liberated, then I, I just, I don't know what to tell you because I'm, I'm tired of it too. I'm tired of folks cooning and buffooning. We say that all the time, but I am so sick and tired of it. And no, you're not going to get a pass on it. The end. I love my black people. You know, I want to say I love people generally because at the end of the day, um, we're all just trying to get through this thing called life. Is that a quote from Prince? <laughs> um, but my people come first, black first, all right? I don't want to see anybody harmed or hurt unless you're trying to harm or hurt me or my people. But at the end of the day, Stefan Clark and his brother, I feel like they are, they have major self-hate issues. And it needs to be dealt with. And it needs to be exposed. And we need to talk about it. All right? Period. Now, I'll be on code. I'm just not going to do any videos about it. But at the same time, no, I cannot co-sign that. I cannot co-sign it. And you shouldn't either. The day of Coonan is over. All right? Damn. <laughs> anyway, that's what I want to speak about for now. You guys take it easy. I'll do another video soon enough. And I know I said I want to try to go live. I would have tried to go live here, but I'm going to try to go live eventually, okay? Yeah, I'm just all over the place. But anyway, I got to go in here and doctor's appointment, you know. Guys, make sure you stay on top of your health because without your health, you have nothing. All right? Take care. Have a great Saturday. I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.